Welcome back to another week here at Detourlin. We are finishing the opening from the loft to Elias's room and I'm actually also framing out all the pieces that are missing that I need to put up where the joists are getting cut off so that we have a finished product and the joists have support. Since we just finished the joist bracing over in the loft area, we now have to support the existing joists over here so that we can cut them off to the right length. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take two two by fours, one flat on them to kind of support it in this direction outwards so that the Joists when we cut them off don't try or the roof doesn't try to buckle outside and pull it out with it and then the other way we're gonna also support it in the height so that these guys don't come up further um, and we're gonna have them standing so let's install those and then we'll do the same thing on the other side Now that we finished the support over here, we have to go across the other side and add the same kind of support so that when we try to cut out the joists, that they are supported on both sides. Now that we have on both sides a 2x4 that will help us support the joist as we cut them off, they don't fall on top of me or fall down on the ground without me basically supporting them, um, I can do the next step and actually cut those joists off at the right length. So we just have to mark them and then I'm gonna use the saw saw. It's not as accurate, but I think it will do for what we need it to be um, since we are gonna put a, we bought up another full 2x8 material up against it so I think it will actually be just fine. To make it easier for myself I already marked these 2x4s that I put up there beforehand. I put them at the right spot so all we have to do is make a straight line down from each one of them 
and cut off the 2x8 material right at that spot. So time to just mark each one and then cut them. So the next step is to add a joist that butts up to these existing ones and to do that, especially by myself, I'm going to put myself up some brackets and use that to basically support the other side while I'm screwing up the other one. So to make this a little simpler for myself, you can tell obviously I have to put a joist that sits and butts up onto those existing ones. And to make it simpler for myself, I basically just mounted this board underneath it on both sides so that I have a little shelf where the joist can sit up while, so I don't have to hold it while I try to screw it and put it in place. So I just put it on both sides and mount it that way.
So now that we put the skirt piece on, we have to finish a couple of the joists that were completely rotten. We have to complete them, uh, we have to finish them out and put them back in. I already cut them, so now we just have to mount them back in. It's gonna be pretty simple so that next week I can work on sistering some of the, uh, the rafters back in that are rotten out to the end so that we have our overhang of the roof is all rot free and we can have the roofers come and actually do the roof replacement. So for everybody who hasn't seen it, this is going to be the loft right above Elias's room. When you come in, we'll have a secret door coming from the hallway in the third floor over into that area. You're going to have a wall here and then a big opening into the room. And we just finished this. So we have all the skirt boards on and still debating if I should put a beam across from the center here to the other side over here let me guys let me know in the comments what you guys think if this would be a good idea or not um, it would help obviously the roof uh, when there's a lot of weight on top to not buckle outside but I'm actually not too concerned about that part but I think it actually might make a good feature if I make it an exposed beam or something so let me know what you guys think in the comments thanks I think this is it for this week. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Stay tuned. Next week we're gonna continue, probably finish the rafters on the the rotten end pieces that of the overhang. We still have to secure those. We have to fix, we have to sister some pieces in, and we might even get to the floor and the wall in the loft. So stay tuned. See you guys next time I turn on the camera. Bye.